Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Chick-fil-A worker stands up in front of everyone and silences room with what he said. It was a normal day like any other at the Oak Park Chick-fil-A in Overland Park, Kansas. The lobby was crowded but not overly so as the lunch rush had just ended. People sitting and happily enjoying their chicken sandwiches, waffle fries, and lemonade. In honor of Veterans Day, team leader Dontarius Jamel Young decided to pay tribute to American veterans in a truly special way. With an angelic voice, Young proudly belted out the heartwarming lyrics to Lee Greenwood's classic song, God Bless the USA. Originally hailing from Monroe, Georgia, Young describes himself as very patriotic and he clearly loves to sing. According to locals to the area, this is not Young's first performance either. He also sang at the local Chick-fil-A on Memorial Day and the 4th of July. He also plans to continue the tradition in December for Christmas though a date for when that will happen has not yet been set. Makes me wish I lived in Kansas so I could come listen. One commenter wrote on Chick-fil-A's Facebook page. This particular performance was caught on video by a young woman named Frances West who posted a video of Young's performance on social media. The video promptly went viral. Young spoke of the response on his own Facebook page stating, Wow! I am truly overwhelmed. I have always been very patriotic and have always loved to sing. The fact that God's favor is being shown to me and in such an apparent way, literally leaves me speechless. One million views. Thank you all so much. I'm so excited to see what is in store and I am very grateful to have been blessed with so many beautiful and loving people in my life. It's only up from here, I still believe. The song God Bless the USA was actually written and recorded back in 1983 and managed to reach the number 7 spot on the Billboard Hot Country Singles chart when it was finally released in 1984. Chick-fil-A continues to be the company the left loves to hate. They have faced public officials threatening to use regulatory powers of local government to deny business, or zoning permits to the restaurant, in order to punish the owners, Don Cathy and his family, for their pro-Christian, pro-traditional marriage and family, and pro-American views. They have faced protests and media backlash. Yet, Chick-fil-A is regularly ranked as one of the most popular fast food restaurant in the country, with some of the best customer service in the country. In a time when many companies are trying to win in the market by neutralizing any possibility of offense and choosing to pander to popular public opinions, Chick-fil-A stands fast, clinging unwaveringly to their purpose and principles. The practices of the company continue to baffle the intolerant left as they are left to trip over their own moral outrage as they are proven wrong time and again. Chick-fil-A as a company regularly assists in feeding the homeless. For Veterans Day, they have been known to hand out free sandwiches to veterans and they also always find special ways to honor deployed men and women who were fighting thousands of miles away from home. The restaurant chain consistently assists when they can during natural disasters, even on Sundays when the restaurant is consistently closed as it did in the Dallas, Texas area in 2015. From Al.com, as anyone who has had to wait until Monday for a chicken sandwich and waffle fries will tell you, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. But the restaurant chain made an exception to that long-standing rule yesterday, as several of its locations opened to help Texans impacted by deadly tornadoes that KD as many as 11 people near Dallas. The locations were not open to the public, but team members from various restaurants in the area did volunteer to prepare and distribute free food to responders and others affected by the tornadoes serving those in need during this tragic event, said Amanda Hanna, a spokeswoman for the chain, told CNBC. Or in 2017 in Atlanta after a power outage at the Atlanta airport left many in the dark, Chick-fil-A came to the rescue. From WSB-TV, it could be a first for Atlanta's favorite fried chicken sandwich restaurant, Chick-fil-A opened up their hearts and their fryers to help the stranded travelers at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Chick-fil-A is traditionally closed on Sundays but because of the massive power outage at the airport, the restaurant came to the rescue for thousands of stranded, and hungry, travelers. The Atlanta airport tweeted around 1.15 a.m. photos of Chick-fil-A workers handing out sandwiches and water. Travelers stranded at the Georgia International Convention Center were also treated with the meals. In all, 2,000 meals were provided to travelers. Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed thanked Chick-fil-A owner Dan Cathy for his support. Then there was the time a California Chick-fil-A really sent heads spinning when the owner of the Chick-fil-A in the Victoria Gateway Center in Rancho Cucamonga, California provided dozens of free meal coupons to a group of same-sex marriage advocates demonstrating at an intersection near the restaurant. It seems despite the shade continuously thrown towards the restaurant, living what you say you believe and standing firm on principles still matters. In an age of appeasement, 
They shine. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.